Good day, good day, good day to everyone. Good day, blessed children of God. Good day, all creation from God. Well, I want to appreciate everyone listening to this video, and I want to say you have right to your opinion. You must not take my own take, or you must not take what I'm saying. I have a worry, and I'm making this video to express that worry. And please, like I said, you have the right to take what I say, and you have the right to discard and let go. That in all, God remains God. Today is Valentine's Day, a day dedicated to love and for love. Valentine's Day, which is also known as uh, St. Valentine's Day, and it's been celebrated every year on the 14th of February, the world over, all over the world. Well, for many, it's a special time in the year when people show their affection for one another, or, people, or, 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 or where they, they, they send cards, flowers, chocolates, anything that represents love, with love messages, just to demonstrate love. Valentine's Day is really popular, as we all know, since the whole world is celebrating it. But what is it actually all about? And who is this Valentine? This day got its name from a famous saint, but we don't actually know exactly who he was, although there are several stories about him, and most of his stories are different. But the most popular of all the stories, the most popular belief about St. Valentine is that he was a priest from Rome in the 3rd century A.D. Emperor Claudius II at that time and his army were involved in so many battles. But this emperor believed that men who were married didn't get involved. They didn't get so much engaged. They, 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 they did not make very good soldiers as they were supposed to be because they were very keen. They, 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 they were, were, were not kind of uh, very keen on going to war and leaving their wives and families behind. So they were not engaging in the battle as military men ought to. So uh, 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 Emperor Claudius was not pleased with this. And as a result of this, he decided to ban marriage. A move that Valentine thought was unfair. So he broke the rules and arranged marriages in secret. Remember, he was a priest. So though the emperor had banned marriages, Valentine said, no, it is unfair. As a priest, he was joining people together, lovers. And when Emperor Claudio found out, Valentine was thrown in jail and was sentenced to death. A legend he had become, he has become rather, and he, while in prison, history holds it that he fell in love with a jailer's daughter. And when he was taken to be killed, the day that he was to be killed, which was on the 14th of February, he sent uh, uh, this new lover of, her, of his, the jailer's daughter, he sent her a message, a love message, in which he signed at the end of it, from your Valentine. And this is actually brief. And that's how people recognized this bravery by celebrating that 14th of February in memory of that great Valentine. But this is where my worry is. I just want to ask this question. You celebrating Valentine, this question is for you. Taking into account what God did for you, what He is doing for you, 
and what you know he will still do for you. Have you at any one time celebrated him like you do celebrate Valentine? I want you to ask this question to your heart and to your conscience. The way you prepare to celebrate Valentine in the name of love, is this what you do to love himself? Love himself being God. Is this what you do to God? Anytime you celebrate this man, I want you to know that you put God to anger. Anytime you celebrate Valentine in the name of celebrating love, you put God to anger. Churches too have allowed the world to get into them. Instead of them getting into the world. I don't care how you put it. You can call it Suare Valentino. You can call it Lover's Day. Anyhow you put it. The truth is, it is because of this particular person, St. Valentine, and his deed, that this day is being celebrated. God so much loved the world, and sacrificed his son, to regain them, when they fell, lost their authority to the devil. Yet, the world still rejects him, but celebrates a man, who stood for married people, and wrote a letter, to a lady he loves. How blind can we be? Especially Christians. Remember. God is love. That is his nature. God is not a lover. The Bible says he is love. Anybody manifesting or exhibiting love. Is just trying to manifest the God character. Love is the name of God. Love is the attitude of... Love is who God is. So nobody else can have that. And this he will not share with any man. Please don't push God to anger. In terms of ignorance, God overlooks. But now he calls on you. He calls on everyone, especially Christians celebrating Valentine in the name of love. Giving God's place to man. God is calling you to order. He's calling you to order. First John chapter 4 from verse 7 to 8. He says, Be love. Let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone who loves is born of God. And knows God. Verse 8 says, he who does not love, does not know God. He says, for God is love. Not Valentine. Not Valentine. Exodus chapter 34 verse 14 says, if you shall worship, or, 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 for you, you, you shall worship no other God. Because you have made Valentine a God. By putting a special day, which is the 14th of February, to be worshipping him in the name of love. God says, he said, for you shall not worship any other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. I said, any time you celebrate Valentine, you ignite God's jealousy. Isaiah 42 verse 8 says, I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other. Nor my praise to carved idols. Valentine, you have made an idol. God's glory, which is in his name, love, you have given to man. God says he is a jealous God. Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 24 says, Therefore, thus says the Lord, Now I will restore the fortunes of Jacob and have mercy on the whole house of Israel. And I will be jealous for my holy name. 
The Bible says God is love. And he's making us to understand that no matter what blessings he gives to us, if we temper with his name, his glory, giving it to another man, he will not take it lightly. He is a jealous God. Jealous for his holy name. Psalm 78 verse 58 says, For they provoke him to anger with their high places. They move him to jealousy with their idols. Valentine, you've made an idol. Like I said, you may take it, you may leave it. But Valentine is not worth it. God worth every aspect of it. God is love, not Valentine. You may want to coin it the way you want to coin it, but I'm telling you the truth. Anytime you do this celebration, putting a man in the place of love, you ignite God's jealousy. A word to a wise is sufficient. God bless you.